Now this video is about a TV remote of how it functions and what are its components that make it happen. If you are like most people, you probably pick up a TV remote control at least twice or twice a day. Let's look inside and see how they work. The remote control's job is to wait for you to press a key and then to translate the key press into infrared light signals that are issued by the TV. When you take off the back cover of the control, you can see that there is really just one part visible, a printer circuit board that contains the electronics and the battery contacts. The components that you see here are typical for most remotes. You can see an integrated circuit also known as a chip labeled TA11835. The chip is packaged in what is known as an 18-pin dual inline package or a DIP. To the right of the chip, you can see a diode, a transistor which is black with three LEDs, a resonator which is yellow, two resistors which are green, and the capacitor which is dark blue. Next to the battery contacts, there is a resistor which is green and the capacitor which is like a tan disk. In this circuit, the chip can deduct when a key is pressed. It then translates the key into a sequence something like Morse code with a different sequence for each different key. The chip sends that signal out to the transistor to amplify that signal and make it stronger. Okay, now let us come to the mechanism of the remote or how does a remote work. So when you unscrew the circuit board and take it out, you can see that the circuit board is a thin piece of fiberglass that has thin copper wires etched onto its surface. Electronic parts are assembled on printed circuit boards because they are easy to mass produce and assemble. When you look at the board, you can see a set of contact points for the buttons. The buttons themselves are made of a thin rubbery sheet. For each button, there is a black conductive disc. When the disc touches the contact points on the printed circuit board, it connects them and the chip can sense that connection. So, at the end of the circuit board, there is an infrared LED or light emitting diode. You can think of an LED as a li small light bulb. Many LEDs produce visible light, but a remote's LED produces infrared light that is invisible to all human eye. It is not invisible to all eyes, however. For example, if you have a camcorder, it can see the infrared light. Point your remote at the camera and push a button. You will be able to see the infrared light flashing in the viewfinder. The receptor in the TV is able to see infrared light as well. So the basic operation of the remote goes like this. You press a button. When you do that, you complete a specific connection. The chip senses that connection and knows what button you pressed. It produces a Morse code line signal specific to that button. The transistor amplifies the signal and sends them to the LED, which translates the signal into the infrared light. The sensor in the TV can see the infrared light and seeing the signal reacts, reacts appropriately. Okay, thank you.